Maybe I'll burn some of the paint off the wood burner today. See if I can find some way of making this stand since this ground is just solid rock. Now it's just about time for another cup of coffee. Alright. Success. Now while we were in town we decided to pick up a new propane tank. So the last one wasn't quite empty yet, but all these small towns that we're going to be hitting, I'm not sure how much is going to be available. So we just did it early. Also, picked up a two-gallon sprayer. We actually only really needed the bottom half of this because I'm not sure how other people do that, but trying to wash your hair and your body with one gallon just doesn't work for me. So since it comes with a pump, we're just going to use that for just quick cleaning up, wipe off your feet or whatever. And then uh, for full showers, we'll just take that off and our portable pump fits right inside there. I don't know if you can see that, but we had some sort of a nuclear meltdown with our uh, single burner stove here. Look at the top. Blew a hole right through it. It's kind of fun trying to make coffee and there's uh, flames blowing out the side of your burner. So one of the things we're going to do today is go get another burner. So we went ahead and picked up a two burner, extra 42 bucks we weren't expecting to spend, and just grabbed the uh, adapter hose to go to the big tank. I guess we'll see how that works. So far my thoughts on this thing are it's uh, cheaply built and extremely flimsy. And even the slightest breeze blows the heat away from what you're trying to heat, so... Yeah, I think Coleman failed on this thing. They sell it for... Well, 42 something before taxes. And I don't think this thing should really be sold more than 20 bucks, but yeah. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart before we uh, buy something a little better. We're thinking about trying to get one of those that have the burners on top and the oven so we can bake stuff. So, see if those are any good. This pile of junk, however, is a fail. So far, didn't do the same thing as the uh, single burner Coleman and go up in flames yet. But it probably wouldn't surprise me. It's pretty much using the uh, same regulator as the one that uh, went up in flames on the other one, on the single. So, yeah. I don't think I'd really trust it. Yeah, I think Coleman, I think their company's pretty much gone downhill. This thing's a pile of junk. Anyway, it's probably just built for the occasional weekend camper anyway. Probably not really made for boondockers or anything. So I guess I'll use it until it falls apart and try to find a company that makes one that's at least durable. Well, if you're traveling through uh, Havasu City and you vape and you're running out of e-juice, Here's a spot that I would recommend. It's right here at this uh, Om Alliance. Pretty easy to find. There's the address and everything you should be able to see on the card. And if you like, uh, like Captain Crunch cereal, this stuff here, this Cookie Crunch, is probably uh, pretty close to it. As you can see, I've got plenty of it, and I've been vaping that on just a simple Vogue with a mini drip tide running 0 0.5 ohms. It's actually uh, pretty good. So uh, stop at this place. It's pretty friendly there and uh, prices aren't too bad. All right. 